Hello and welcome to week 4 of GE3510 Macroeconomics. Remember that the contact information is up top with the name, email address, and phone number. Best way to contact is generally with the email address and then giving it time that we can then meet by phone and or screen share software at that time. Scrolling down to the current week that we are in, week 4, we see the familiar layout, we see the objectives, the topics, and the lessons. We'll be covering two chapters, one a chapter that's needed both in macroeconomics as well as microeconomics, the concept of elasticity. One of those terms that we really need to comprehend and understand in order to talk in uh, economic terms, both levels in terms of micro and macro. Then we have the macroeconomic topic of economic growth. We'll be talking about the kinds of things that may lead to economic growth and the kinds of things that may stifle economic growth within different economies as well as what growth means, what is growth as it is applied to large economies or small economies. How can we uh, look at the growth, measure the growth, compare different growth uh, sections. We then have our resources down here. You can select these items to go to the uh, resources. If you wanted to go here directly, then uh, you can copy and paste the link and go there directly without going through the portal and or Moodle rooms. Then we have the audio presentations. You can do these without having the visual and therefore do them while doing chores or something like that. If you wanted to get these on an iPhone, uh, if you don't have the SoundCloud here uh, or that's being difficult to stream on a phone, you can also get that at iTunes and Stitcher are two podcasts that you should be able to stream that if you wanted to use it on a commute or something like that. That should be doable. From the discussion forums on down, that's what we need to get done. Remember that the discussion forums are worth 21% of the grade. Make sure to get as full credit, as much as full credit as you can. I'd like everyone to get 100% of that 21%. We've had great discussion so far. Just remember to keep uh, posting to that. We need a minimum of four posts. I would post more than four to make sure to pick this information up. In order to get full credit on any post, we uh, do need to add new content to the discussion that is related to economics. If we copy and paste anything, make sure to reference it so we're not plagiarizing and then paraphrase it in your own words and or critique it in order to get full credit on any one particular post. Then we have the assignments. We've got the homework and the quizzes. All of this, of course, is going to be due by Sunday, and most of it is done in McGraw-Hills Connect, but although most of it is done in McGraw-Hills Connect, it's not all listed there. Make sure that you're checking everything off in Moodle Rooms to make sure that we're picking everything up and not uh, just missing any assignments. This is the list of where everything is at even though most of the work is done up here in McGraw-Hills Connect. We then have the quiz. Remember that uh, if you run into a, con a time constraint, make sure to take the quiz by Sunday. We have less leeway to make up the quiz. We have more leeway, in other words, to make up the assignments and the homework, and therefore pick up any points you can. A 10% is better than a 0% on the quiz. Pick up as many points as you can on the quiz. If you have to go back to late work, then see if you can do the late work for the assignments and homework, knowing that you will lose points in accordance with Charter College policy. Going up to the gradebook, up top, left-hand side, remember that everything is due by Sunday. I have until Wednesday after the week is complete to enter the grades. I try to get them in there Tuesday around noon. Therefore, Tuesday around noon, uh, make sure to check the gradebook. You should have a good idea of what the gradebook should look like because you're checking everything off within Moodle Rooms. And then let me know if there are any questions. Remember that if it's a dash, it hasn't been graded. If it changes from a dash to a grade, it has been graded. If it changes from a dash to a zero, it's an indication that it has been graded and nothing has been submitted. And those are the ones you want to check and uh, see if anything has been submitted. Let me know if not, and then uh, see if you can pick it up for late work at that time. Recall too, and remember that anything that's done that's going to be done for late work um, will also be graded by Tuesday following the week it is completed. So uh, if there's any late work, for example, for week two, it'll be uh, graded by Tuesday following uh, week two. And that, don't let that prevent you from contacting me, however. Uh, if you if you turn in late work and you want to email me and let me know that you turned it in, that's great. Uh, email me, let, me let me know that you turned it in, and check it in again by Tuesday. I'll try to get the grades updated bef before Tuesday for late, late work as well, but if I don't, it'll be there by Tuesday for sure. And if you don't see it updated by Tuesday for sure, following the week that you, that you put the, that you did the late work, then make sure uh, to contact me and let me know. And uh, that's going to be it for week four. So a great week four.